cure is from. It's been over five years, and they're growing impatient. Yesterday, from yet another attack by the insurrectionists outside the quarantine walls. Reports state their weapons are becoming increasingly more advanced, yes. I know. I've seen the numbers. I know we're running out of time, but I'm checking on our team right now. Yes, I know we delegated her team to another assignment, but we need all hands on Oculus. Martinez, you have a minute? Yes. Come in. And who's this? This is Billy, our new analyst. Billy, I'd like to meet Martinez, one of our project leads here at Mirko. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Mirko. So, the board has been getting on me for updates. Is your team anywhere closer to a clinical trial? We haven't made any significant gains in some time. I'm not sure if we'll beat anyone to it. If Oculus is not worth pursuing at the rate we're going, what else can we do? Well, from my standpoint, if we choose to switch gears now, we'll probably end up pretty far behind. Billy, can you give us a minute? Of course. Ain't it something? This company started curing one of the worst killers in the world. And pretty soon there'll be nothing left to fix once we're all sterile. I don't know what's left for us to do. May as well start making baby bottles. Maybe we should. Yeah. So, I guess this is it, huh? Time to hang up the lab coats and move on. Have you thought about other products outside of what we do? You have ideas? Well, up until now, we've only looked at fixing the human body. We really haven't looked at making it better. Oh, so <laughs> you want us to win the next Olympics? During the research for the cancer project, the teams came across some interesting finds. I believe we have the resources at hand to develop something useful for the military. Are you suggesting making bioweapons? Sort of a biological weapon. A human weapon. I'm really not sure I'm following you, Martinez. We can increase their strength, their speed, their stamina, their mental capacity. You name it. The world is still very much in conflict. We'll be the only ones exploring it from this angle. We do the impossible again. It's what will push back on top. No. No, we can't. There's entirely too many things that can go wrong if we pursue any kind of development of this magnitude. Could be. But I believe we've already done more than enough work to make it a reality. Just think about it. Who would run your research? I think Dr. Howe. Dr. Howe? From Schaefer's team? What do you think? Why do you think he'd do something like this? I mean, no offense, but his team has already been ahead of yours for quite some time now. I think if I present it to him in the right way, he'll be on board. And how certain are you about what you're suggesting? The returns from this will put us past all previous expectations. I know Mr. Sander will go for such a proposal. All right, I'll call for a company board meeting at the end of the week. Present your proposal, and we'll go from there. Well, well, well. Awfully bold move to have your friend Williams call board meeting. Out of the way, Schaefer.
we've been at this Oculus thing for how many years now? And you think your team's track record needs a project take priority? Oculus isn't going anywhere and you know it. We're no closer to curing it than we were five years ago. Well, I wouldn't understand someone such as yourself to understand the potential. We will cure Oculus. Let go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's May 18th. We're here to discuss a potential project to help get us out of this hellhole. Martinez, when you're ready. Thank you, Mr. Sander, and everyone for your time today. The concept for this new proposal is to take everything we've learned from the Cancer Research Project and expand its uses further beyond medicinal. How so? The injections that Dr. Howe engineered allowed the recipients the ability to rebuild their genetic code with the ability to fight off cancer. I believe we can modify the injections to let the recipients rebuild for military purposes. Simply put, the gun is only as good as the handler, and we will be making the handlers. That's a rather extreme proposal outside of what Miraco does, Martinez. I know. And with Dr. Howe's help, I believe this could work, and we could save our company. Dr. Howe is working with this company's best team on the world's next big breakthrough. But the research and testing for Oculus have not had any substantial gain in the last three years. At this rate, Miraco has about two years left before it runs out of resources. It can work. What was that? Um, uh, Martinez's proposal, it could work. All right then, Dr. Howe. Tell me why we should throw away years of research on this new vision of Miraco. Her proposal can work, but we're just going to have to forego the standard lab procedures in order to test it. Just forego standard lab procedures? That's correct. What makes you think that that's acceptable to just overlook such a critical phase? This type of genetic modification would require a very specific type of candidate. One that we cannot emulate in standard lab procedures. The genetic buildup, they would have to be ideal in order to have a higher success rate. A higher success rate? So you're saying some may not even succeed? Or live. Or live? Well, that just settles it on this project. Williams, you have some balls calling this meeting. I applaud your cancer research. But you are way of the line to suggest we start a project by testing humans. We're already in deep shit with our reputation. You think people are just going to stand in line to be tested? This meeting's over. That? That was lovely. <laughs> You know what this would mean for Mirko if we succeed. A military contract would save this company. Thought you would have known better by now. Seems your old habits die hard, don't they, Captain? She served? Martinez served in the Corps under my command. Though she was known to play her men like pawns. What do you mean? Sacrifices. make it work. I can make it work. We'll move forward with the project, no matter what that old bastard says. Wow, he just said that... Don't worry about that. Well, well, what will happen if they find out? You know, I, I didn't sign up for this. This is my career. They won't not where we're going. Do we have candidates from our database that we can pull from? Yes, we do. Good. for you to get up. But it's a Saturday. That it is, and it's already past noon. So 
time for you to get up. I gotta get going. I have nothing to do today. And you would be wrong about that. You have to babysit Bethany today. What? <laughs> but, Mom, I have stuff to do today. Oh, really? Just a minute ago, I could have sworn you said you had nothing going on today. Anna, can we go to the park today? Of course you can, sweetie. Her mom will be here to pick her up at six. Oh, and I left some snack money for you, too. I'll see you at home for dinner, okay? Yes, Mom. That's my girl. Have fun, you two. Bye, Mrs. Marley. Really? Do you like monsters? No. Because I think I'm a monster. Mom, what happened? You said you would be home three hours ago. I'm sorry, honey. Work cut me late. I'll make dinner right away. Do you like beef? Good, because we're having chicken. <laughs> So, Bethany's mom said she had a good time with you today. She also said you spent more time on your phone than playing with her. I was still watching her. Next time you play with her a little more, okay? Little Bethany likes you and she looks up to you. You need to set a good example. Yes, mother. I don't think it's asking too much for you to put your friends on hold for a few hours. Whatever. Keep that up and you won't have a phone. Subject number seven, Caucasian, female, approximately 16 to 18 years old. Who ago. are you? Where am I? Testing for variant oh. type C. Injection number 577. Please restrain her. I said restrain her. Well, she's not moving, is she? Yes, but do you understand that if she's unconscious, it makes my job that much tougher? I don't have half of the things that I need around here to make this experiment work.
seven. It's a bit more than you previously stated, isn't it? Don't tell me you need more. I'm not. The formula's ready for the prime candidate. Prime? Were these not prime? They were close. Close enough for me to secure the formula, but just... It's not perfect. These are all perfect candidates we can choose from. Yes. The question is, is how many are gonna take the injections? Three. We'll need three. If you don't mind, I'd like to stop by. Have a look at the progress. Jesus. I thought you said these were only injections. They are. Well, they look half dead. Unfortunately, this is what we have to do for the injections to take. I see. How long has it been since their injections? About 36 hours. Sounds promising. Let me know if anything changes. Are they dead? Hey. You need to tell me what's going on. Now. I don't know. They were perfect. This should have worked. It should have. There's the table. Their wounds are gone. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Just wait. See? She healed. Are they going to remember any of this? Their brains are like blank slates right now. Good. Take care of them. We'll start them in a week. Hello? It's been a while, Sergeant. Captain? Surprised to hear from you. I need you in Lovett for another training assignment. I thought you were tired. We're both coming out of retirement on this one. You'll be well compensated. Why me? Because you're the only one that made it out of Sector 8 alive. Them? What do you expect me to do with these guys? They don't look like much. Does it really matter? You weren't much when you came in. Hey, now. One month, Johnson. Make them the best they can be. One month? You gotta be joking. Captain. Get it done, Carson. Captain. Get it done. Well then, let's get to it. For the next month, it was up to me to prepare them for the worst. 
They weren't much at first, but that changed after a couple of days. Drive, drive, drive! Hurry up! Get a move on! What a fighter over there! They indeed are a special group. Yes, they are. How's civilian life been treating you? It's all right, I guess. You don't sound too sure. What can I say? Nothing's quite brought it on like what we did back in Sector 8. Why don't you stay around for a bit? What for? The pension you deserve. Stay in Levick for a while. I've got some work. I could use your assistance. It only took them two weeks to become combat ready. Regardless, we continued for the full month. Each day, the subjects became stronger and faster, even though their bodies never seemed to change. They became increasingly unique from each other in temperament and skill sets possibly a genetic trait. Despite being such a small team, Sergeant Johnson believes that they will be capable of handling larger missions on their own. Martinez was right. This project will save Miracor's future. Well, they're all clear. Physically and mentally, they all check out. So, now what? We'll need to field test them somehow. That'd be the best case scenario. Do you think they're ready to be deployed? What do you mean? Sending them out on a mission. Do you think they're ready? Well, whatever they were taught by Sergeant Johnson, they should have no problems replicating that in the field. So, they're ready. Williams, please, come in. Thank you. Dr. Howe, surprised to see you on this side of the building. Well, you know, I, I thought I would just stop in and say hello, you know. We are on the same team. Yeah, well, how about that? The board told me today that uh, your team's resources will go over to Schaefer. As of next week, you'll be under his direction. That's funny. I was just about to call you to have you set up another board meeting for me. Another board meeting? <laughs> May I ask what you plan to present this time? They weren't too happy about the last one. They'll be happy this time. You're gonna be a rich man again, Williams. Oculus, do we get a breakthrough? We have. You have? Yes, we have. We just need one more week to confirm our results before we present to the board. I can't believe it. We're going back to the top. We're going back to the top. <laughs> I knew I can count on your team, Martinez. I'll go arrange for a meeting right now. To the top? To the top, to the top, to the top, to the top. Ha! Good work, people. Idiot. Did your team have a breakthrough with Oculus? 
We're not presenting Oculus. Wait, what? We're not presenting Oculus. Good morning, Martinez. Good morning, Larry. Where's Mr. Sander? Mr. Sander won't be joining us this morning. He's actually on a last minute conference call with one of our suppliers. So I will be the acting chairman for this presentation today. I see. I look forward to your thoughts on today's presentation. Thank you. May I begin? You may begin. Martinez, what the hell is this? What you're about to see is a demonstration of what enhanced human soldiers will do for the future of Mirko. Martinez, don't tell me that you... I did. And you will not be disappointed by what you see. That's not the point! You went behind the company's back and sanctioned this? You sanctioned your own experiments? Go get security. Martinez, you're fired. Get the hell out of here! Spencer, Carlos, and Jack are the first three candidates to receive the injections. Today, they'll be demonstrating their effectiveness by performing a hostage mission. A hostage mission? Their objective is to rescue a high-ranking drug lord that's been running Levick's territories. Martinez, I order you to end this. You're not authorized to go saving any drug lord kingpins. It's too late now. They're en route. So sit down and enjoy the show. Do you realize what you're doing? I know perfectly well. I'm saving this company. No thanks to any of you. There'll be people of my ass when word spreads of this. I assure you, when word spreads, this will be in the company's favor. Martinez. Martinez. No, let me go! Let me go! Target's on location. We're standing by. Hey, who are you? Spencer, do you copy? This is 430 to 5. We caught an intruder at the perimeter. 10 4. Bring him in. This is it. I want this place locked down now. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like somebody's here to save you.
Stop. Stop right there. How you doing there, sir? You! You bitch! I thought you would be grateful. You hear me? What do you think? Not bad. <laughs> A bit unorthodox, but not bad. Jennifer will be interested. Well, we're ready to talk when you are. Captain Miller, come in. Go ahead. We're picking up insurrectionist movement. We believe they're meeting with their new weapons contact. Get the Phoenix team ready. Be advised, sir, there's not much left of Phoenix team, and we're picking up heavy radiation signatures in that area. What are your orders? Do they play well with others? You could use the help. One second. Captain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gear them up. Attention. Attention. FOBs moving up have been issued to Senso Level 1. What's going on? We've all been assigned to a mission. This doesn't seem like a simulation. It's really stopped. There isn't much left in their armory, but use what you can, make it work. It looks like you've been assigned to an escort mission. I know this is an ideal, but you're going to have to do your best. Listen up. This is the first time we'll be attempting a land operation outside these walls. The risks are high, but we have no choice. The insurrectionists are currently en route to an off-grid location that has been emanating radiation signatures for the past few hours. We have every reason to believe that they will use the weapon to breach our walls and more. But sir, can't we just send in the pilots and be done with it? That's a negative, Corporal. Our flight guidance systems were damaged during the enemy's last assault. You'll be dropped off at FOB number two on the eastern wall. From there, you will proceed on foot to the radiation point. Let me remind you that by this point in time, if you are not wearing your goggles, you will go blind within a few seconds. Your objective is to neutralize the weapon and bring one of them back alive. We need to know who's making them tick. Lieutenant Bennett will be in command of this operation. You special science turkeys, you listen to him 100%. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir! Very well. Get to it. Is she on her way? Yes. She's bringing the doctor with her in case you have any questions. Very good. Do I have something on my face? Oh, uh, no. It's just... It's just what? Well, what are you guys exactly? It's none of your business. Oh, come on. You guys are obviously not normal. Not with the way you move through that simulation. Oh, poke the bear, Corporal. Do you have any idea how much I've lost because of those selfish innies? We're out there dying trying to defend these walls, and then you guys show up with your special treatment. You know what? Now I'm not gonna ask you again. Now I said, what the, that's enough!
you alright? Yeah. yeah. I'm fine. What's your name? Mason. I'm the bomb technician. Mason, huh? Carlos. That's Spencer and that's Jack. Nice to meet you. Sorry to hear about your loss. It's almost focus out there. You're gonna get us killed. So, what are you guys, really? Couldn't tell you exactly. Not because I don't want to. We honestly don't know. And that doesn't bother you? Not really, no. No? <laughs> How does that not bother you? Do you question your purpose in defending those walls? No. Exactly. Our purpose is to help you any way we can. Get your goggles on, boys. We're nearing the drop-off point. All right, team, weapons check. Little lady. Four mags. Three mags. Sir, speaks a lot. Asshole. Tech. Two mags. And a class two EMP grenade. What's that exactly? If I have to disarm the bomb, this will cut out all circuits in the two mile radius for about five minutes. This is our last resort. So don't touch it. Let me be clear. We to bring back one of these enemies alive. So to serve your ammo, don't spray and pray. We don't know how many we're going to be contending with out there. Now for this mission, we'll be breaking up into two teams. <laughs> well, good Lord Almighty, it speaks. Sure about that gun? You don't want a spot or anything? Don't need one. Well, all right then. Little lady, you're a techie. Keep him alive. Carlos, you're with me at point. Shit goes tits up. Well, we'll be counting on you, Gunny. And still, an asshole. Guys are late. I'm sorry. Do we really have to come out all the way up here? Yeah? I guess it'd be all right. Here. You guys look like you can use some of this. <sighs> all right, everybody, stay frosty. We're near the radiation point. See anything up there, Gunny? Just arrived at the vantage point. Stand by. Yeah, all right, copy that. Hold on. There's three targets ahead of your position. One of interest, about 100 yards out. We have visual on the targets. Just keep scanning in case there's others. Copy that. Tastes good, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a nice to big day. We need you both at your very best. What's the plan? It's simple, really. Just need you guys to get up that wall tonight, set it up, and set it off. Looks different. Yeah. This little bomb that we saved for this special occasion be more than enough to blow up the wall even in a quarter mile radius. Where's the remote? Remote? You think we had that type of stuff? You have to manually set this puppy off. What? What? You think things would be any different? One of you still must die. What kind of bullshit is this? That wasn't part of the deal. Nobody ever said it wasn't. This was supposed to be it. No. This was supposed to be it for me and my family. Stop it. You can't be doing this to us, you motherfucker. Oh, I believe I can. Where in the hell did that come from? Are you guys seeing this? Where did these guys come from? That's not... How is this possible? Settle down, techie. Fighting blind unless you can get them out of that camo. 
She had a family. You didn't have to kill her. You made a fucking promise. And I plan to keep that promise as long as you finish out the mission. Fuck you. I think you'll see things my way. The fuck? Ow! Ow! We gotta get out of here! We gotta get out of here! Shut up! What's the matter? You look surprised. How did you... <laughs> We've had this for a while now. Why didn't you... Share it? Well, that's something that you don't need to concern yourself about. But what you need to concern yourself about is this mission. So your families can live like we do. Now let's get ready, shall we? What is that? Just a timer. Set it, get out in 20 minutes, and you'll be with your family in a safe sector. It's impossible. It'll take 20 minutes just to get there. Well, I suggest you start running. I need more time. What? I need more time. This is not how it works. Okay. I can just stay here and blow all of us up. You could. Or I can easily execute your wife and two kids while that happens. Take a shot now. It's not your call, little lady. Everybody, stand down. If he fails, I'll see if he Stay here with me. 
target's alive. Bomb acquired. Looks like the EMP fried the timer, but it's still armed. Very good, guys. Jack, go find some intel and we'll meet you there. Roger that. Let's go. Get up. Wait, what are you doing? I'll tell you later. Wait, can you see? Shh. Where did he go? He's back there. Copy that. Here. <laughs> so he's the lucky one going back with us? FOB 2. This is Lima. Bravo. Beta 1 requesting immediate evac. Echo Whiskey plus 1. Find anything? No, nothing. What the hell took you so long? This bastard almost got away. Hey! Next time you get in a damn spot, are you hear me? Asshole! me first, Martinez. You said they were ready for a field test. Did you not? I did, but they were ready by themselves, just the three of them. We never took into account how they would interact with other team members. Well, Doctor, considering they all came back in one piece, I think they did just fine. Aren't you a bit underdressed, sir? You know very well why that is. Come on, Captain. This must bring back some old memories for you. Indeed it does. Did a good thing, Doc. You're exactly what we needed. Lieutenant. Yeah? You seemed like you wanted to say something else. What exactly happened out there? Well, let's just say they weren't exactly cooperative. Who? Which one of them? I'd like to know this. All of them, Doc. All of them. You guys want to stick around? Where's Dr. Howe? He's checking on the kids. He'll be with us shortly. Shame. He's gonna miss all the fun. <sighs> you know, back in the bad old days, there used to be methods for getting information out of prisoners. But I'm in a generous mood today. So I'm going to ask you nicely. Who's giving you the weapons? Now, now we know that you guys ain't out there building makeshift handcrafted nukes. So please, who's giving them to you? You selfish motherfucker. Do you realize that we're in here trying to find a cure for you people? Huh? We're already running out of resources, and you have the audacity to come up here and try to destroy our walls? You son of a bitch. And what did you think was going to happen after that? Huh? Everybody gets infected. Mission accomplished, asshole. All right. Who is giving the weapons to you? You all disgust me. You're not gonna help us anyway, right? I'm here to tell you you're wrong. Bullshit! You and Buford are fucking the same. You and your goddamn lies! Buford? What does Sector 8 have to do with this? You didn't know? That's what's giving us the weapons. They used us. They promised as soon as Levick had breached, we get in, we be safe. 
But that was all a fucking lie. Little do we know, both of you already had the cure. We don't have the cure. Yes, you do! You lied to us. I saw a girl without the goggles. She didn't have the goggles on. What is this Cindy talking about? I don't know about the girl. But we definitely saw the supplier out there without his goggles on, sir. Are you sure? Is it sure? Yes, he's sure. Looks like the war you resolved isn't quite over yet, Captain. No one is to know about this. If what he says is true about your special soldiers, we don't need to waste resources letting those innies in when we've got a war to fight. Shall I draft up a contract then? We're gonna need Miracle to make more. A lot more. Thank you. 